Okay, folks. Um, this is my uh, 2004 Jeep TJ, and uh, I've got a lot of things on the list to do to this. Uh, but at the moment, I'm going to do a couple things here. Um, one is I'm going to install this under seat locking storage box, and so I, I, I got to looking at this thing. This is kind of a review and an install. It's made nicely enough, but it's a little light duty. Um, this is not going to be a high security option. Uh, kind of out of sight, out of mind. Keeps people from snatching something out of your car if the top is off. And uh, you, know, you don't want to make it easy for them. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do a couple things here. Um, I'm gonna install this box, and there's gonna be some modifications, and we'll go over that um, as I get there. I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing to everything. Um, the it's not welded together particularly solidly. Uh, from what I can tell, it's just tack welded together. The drawer slides are nice. Uh, it is big enough. You can put a full size 1911 in here. So anything but a uh, a really large revolver should fit. Obviously, you got room for a cell phone, wallet. You know, politically correct picture there. Exactly what it shows in the display. Um, comes with two keys. It's got a, a reasonable little lock on it. But my concern is, it's not real thick. I think if a guy got a screwdriver or something in there, they could uh, defeat this thing relatively easily. And then uh, the bracketry that mounts to the floor is not particularly uh, solid. It just mounts to the uh, to the seat mounting bolts, which that's great, but the bracket's pretty thin. So uh, not sure exactly where we're going to go with all of this, but I am going to beef it up. In addition to the uh, putting this box under the seat, I'm going to put a, a lift kit on the seat. Um, Basically what you do is you unbolt the seat and you're just going to raise the seat base up. Uh, from what I've read, the uh, seats in these later TJs sit lower in the chassis or in the body. And you get a little better visibility if it's up higher. I'm, uh, I'm over six feet, uh, just at six feet tall. And I've got a ton of headroom in this thing. Um, but my legs could be in a, a little more comfortable position and I could stand to have better visibility honestly when I'm driving it I see the hood line but just barely uh, sit kind of low in here so uh, I bought this off of eBay um, you can buy them well, I don't know probably 50 different places uh, I had to make some some decisions when I bought it I thought about making it but I couldn't uh, I couldn't find enough material to make them all the same size so I just bit the bullet and bought a kit. Plus it came with the bolts and I wasn't going to be running around town looking for the bolts. Um, two of the bolts are larger. Um, I think they're 8 millimeter on the small ones, 10s on the bigger ones. Although these are not metric. Um, those are. Okay. These are uh, the larger ones. Uh, I'm going to go with 7 16ths then. Anyway, these uh, go in the inside rear corners of the seat they are bigger this is where the uh, the seat mount is attached to the seat base and this is what holds the seat base down at that location and you should if you get a good kit have two spacers that are larger than the others um, so anyway that's really simple uh, there's not gonna be much to show there I bought this off of eBay um, took a few days to get it the price was fair and uh, you know, reasonably made part. Um, the ends are not turned, they're just saw cut, but it's clean. And they're de bird nice. Um, yeah, I don't expect perfection. It's just a seat lift kit, a body lift for your seat. So, so we'll be showing that as well as we go through this. So I've, uh, I've removed the uh, driver's seat, and that was relatively straightforward, um, other than the fact I had to climb in the back, which is not convenient for me. I couldn't stick my head between the uh, the body and the seat when it was all the way forward and reclined, so I had to climb in the back to get to the inside rear bolt, which uses a uh, 
a T50 Torx bit, um, and they're pretty tight. Uh, that's the one that holds you into the car when you turn it upside down. So they, they put it in there good and tight. It's probably got some Loctite on it. And uh, the others are just 13 millimeter, 13 millimeter heads. So you need a 13 millimeter socket and a T50 to pull the seat. And then there's a, just a connection probably for the seat belt light. And uh, look at that, I got a raise. So this is how it sits in there. Um, I've got a few decisions to make. Partly due to the fact I'm putting a, uh, a lift kit on the on the seat, so I got to decide if I'm going to mount this tight to the floor, like like that, and how it's intended to go, or if I'm going to raise it up with the seat and leave some storage underneath. Uh, haven't made up my mind yet, and I may uh, I may do it so that I can go either way with it. But one thing that the way it's intended, there's a little foot on the back here. It just uh, sits on the floor to uh, support the back of it, and I don't know. It's possible that could rattle a little bit, but these are mounting holes for this guy, and whatever. Anyway, but the this strap, which is, I don't know, 12 gauge? I don't think it's a full eighth of an inch thick. Um, they just kind of thread into the body here with some self-threading, self-tapping screws, and um, I'm not convinced that that's uh, got the strength I'm looking for. So now I'm going to take this box apart and figure out what I got to weld on it to make it happen. So I haven't decided what I'm doing there yet. I got to take it apart and uh, go from there. And I am going to pretty much destroy the powder coat. Uh, it's kind of a flat black powder coat. Uh, It'll be cleaned up okay when I get it done, and it's going to be underneath the seat. So, um, one other thing I'm going to do: this little flap of uh, carpet. Um, I have not pulled the carpet out of this yet. It uh, it really hasn't become an off-road rig yet, but that's going to change. I'm going to leave the flap in there for the time being, but I'm going to pop out this little button so that when the time comes to pull the carpet, I can just slide it out. Otherwise, I'd be pulling the seat, pulling my box, and um, all that just to get that guy out so I'm just gonna pop that off and I'll leave the flap under there uh, to be determined yet I don't want to cut it off uh, mainly due to the fact that the carpet is actually pretty nice still and maybe someday I decide to put it back in or maybe it's worth something to somebody so I'm gonna try and preserve it so here's what I decided to do um, I fit some uh, 10 gauge formed angle to the uh, face of the box here, I can only get so strong, otherwise they're just going to take the Jeep. Or if they got to pull the seat out to uh, to take it, they might as well just take the Jeep. And I'm going to do a couple things here to make that uh, just a little bit slower for them if they have to decide to do that. Um, I did take this bracket, instead of uh, screwing it on, I moved it forward just a little bit, which uh, sets the box further to the rear. Um, I don't need it sticking out and getting under my feet because I ride with the seat most of the time all the way back. So um, the drawer slides here, you want to be a little careful if you try this. There's some plastic pieces on these drawer slides, so I wouldn't get it too hot. Um, other than that, uh, I'm going to weld, uh, weld everything up. I'm not going to weld it solid. I'll stitch it on there and then uh, I'll buff the face off, throw some black paint on it. Uh, maybe I'll come up with some other ideas. And then the drawer, I'll, I'll show you what I do with the drawer when I get to that point. Okay, so I've uh, I welded up the uh, inside joints on this drawer front a little bit. Uh, hopefully it's not too easy for somebody to pop the front of it off. Um, this blue carpet is what came with it on the bottom and it gives just a little bit of padding. Um, I was gonna add more padding to the bottom. I have a little bit of an option to add a little bit, but this is this is okay. You know, you don't wanna scratch your cell phone. But here's a problem. The rest of it is just metal and it's got these uh, screws sticking through that are 
mounting for the drawer slides. Um, and that not gonna that's not gonna work. So what I came up with, I did a little experimenting and I found that I can fabricate I can fabricate this foam and this this white stuff is just some leftover packaging from a Chinese light bar that I bought. And the black is uh, it's nothing special, but it's uh, with some drawer liners for a toolbox that I didn't think we're going to hold it very well, so I replaced them with something heavier. So I've got a lot of this black stuff, and I've got enough of this the white stuff here. So I'm going to I'm going to glue it together. I found this glue um, works better than some other stuff I had. So I, I played with that last night, glued some pieces up, and it holds pretty good. So um, I'm going to glue that together and. Uh, you get the idea. I'm gonna lose a little bit of space, but I can't really, I can't really have these screws sticking out here. Um, I also, and I'll just walk over there. This is the box. You can't see in there. Um, I added a piece of the black drawer liner to the top. It's upside down right now. So if something is, if my cell phone is bouncing around in the. Uh, drawer it's not going to be banging against the metal lid either so i'll put that together and uh i'll show you what it looks like okay i'm fixing to uh lose the light out here but uh, what i've done i've got half inch foam wrapped with the uh the thinner uh black stuff i've got two layers of the black stuff out here on this end and uh also right here, I made a little bumper around this. Uh, originally, it was gonna be just squared off and the corners would be filled with foam and covered with the uh, the black foam, but I don't know, kind of a pain in the ass to work with, to be honest with you. So, I got the box installed under the seat, but I'm losing the light in there, you can't really see nothing. So, when I get it all together, I'll show you a final on the whole thing. Um, so, here we go, we can fit a cell phone in there. It's tight, it's compressing the foam, but it doesn't wiggle. Um, wallet, I'm holding the iPhone, so iPhone fits in there too. Uh, not much left over for space. Um, that's about as big a phone as you're gonna get in there. So, if I didn't have the foam, maybe a little bit bigger, but uh, then it's gonna bang around in there, so. Maybe if you got a high point or something, you can just throw it in there. You don't mind the rattle. So this is the uh, the final product. You can hear the you got a little bit of grit in the drawer slides. I think it used to be a little quieter, but uh, that's how it fits in there. Um, you can see my spacers. These ones in the front, I had to mill them out for clearance for the this metal that I added. And this little radius here that was kind of something I didn't plan for the uh, I didn't take that into account turns out the uh, the little button underneath here I was talking to you about uh, it's not a button it's a snap um, and it needed to be removed to uh, to make it work the box it was too tall for the box I, I ended up just cutting that little flap of carpet off and uh, so you can kind of get the idea here it uh, immediately noticeable how much higher I sit in the car. Um, caught me off guard, actually. I got in it and I thought, this doesn't feel right. But uh, overall, um, I'm happy with what I've got here. Um, people generally aren't going to want to go through that much work to make this thing secure. Uh, you would have to uh, remove the seat to, uh, to take it out. Which kind of is how it was before, except that if you didn't want to take it out, you could pry on it. So I've, I've stiffened it up a little bit. Um, it's not high security. I'm not going to leave things in there unattended for a long period of time in a place where, uh, where you wouldn't uh, leave things unattended, I guess you could say. But uh, I like it. Um, my honest review of the product... It, uh, it satisfies the law if you need to lock something up. Um, 
I wouldn't put a million bucks in it. I wouldn't put 500 bucks in it and, you know, leave it someplace where uh, somebody would be getting into it. So, um, it's cool. Like I said, and it satisfies the law. If I need to lock up my cell phone, um, it keeps it legal. And it'll slow somebody down from taking it. So, there you go. That's pretty much the uh, the wrap up. I still got to do the other side. The uh, it's just the beginnings of some projects I got going here. Um, I want to at some point make use of this area right here on the left side of the driver's seat. Um, I came close to welding a flashlight mount onto the uh, seat base. You know, um, I'm not sure I want to commit to that yet. I haven't decided what to do. So I. I'll probably have the seat back out again doing something to it. Uh, we'll see what happens. So, something else to make a video of. All right. Peace out. Be safe. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Have a good day.